going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a micro fish trap part two. As you guys know, we did it before and we caught a bunch of aquarium fish, but this time we're doing it at a different location. We're under a massive bridge right now, crystal clear water, rocks everywhere. We even got some pipes leading from other waterways and a bunch of mangroves. So this is going to be absolutely epic. So right here we got my micro fish trap. This is actually the same exact trap that we caught our mini octopus in. So right over here is a massive bridge. And as you see, we got crystal clear water. We got mangroves to our left. We even got this massive pipe right here that leads into like backwaters and stuff so other fish can swim right through that. If you look real closely back in there, that, see that looks real good. There's gotta be a bunch of fish in there. Fish obviously love structure. So the more structure, the better chance we have of catching stuff. I might call it a fish trap, but we do end up catching octopus, crabs, other stuff. We're not only gonna be catching fish, we have a chance of catching a lot of invertebrates and stuff too. I've, I've had it happen before, so there's no reason it can't happen again. So we're gonna set this thing down. We got some krill right here. The reason I did krill is because I've actually never used it. I've always used shrimp. And we're gonna see if this maybe can change up the type of fish we catch. So first things first, we obviously gotta find a place to put the trap. So right now what I'm gonna do is scope out the area. I do like the mangroves, but I also do like the rocks. With the rocks, you have a better chance of catching a lot more invertebrates. By the mangroves, you got a lot better chance of catching like mangrove snapper, lane snapper, and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna do by the rocks just because that would be pretty dope to catch a eel. So what we're gonna be doing today is putting the trap in shallow water, not open water like we usually do. And that's just because what we're after today is micro fish, just because the trap is very, very small. Obviously a big fish can't fit in this. And it's cool because the micro fish, you'll, you'll, there's different species, there's gobies, there's wrasse, anything that you can catch. If it can, if it can fit in this trap, it's gonna go in there. I think we're gonna place it over here because like I said, there's a lot more structure. Put that there because I always, every time I come to film a fish trap or something, or if we're doing a fish trap, we'll end up seeing like mullet or pilchard just swimming around and then we, nev we never have the net to catch them. So I made sure this time that I brought this thing with me. What we're gonna do now is get the krill out, place it in there. All you're gonna do is just <laughs> Now I really never knew the difference between krill and shrimp. I think they're kind of the same thing, but then we're gonna do some pieces chopped up into smaller pieces so we can get those small fish. Really what the krill is in here for is just to get that scent going and then fish, what they do is they'll be curious to where that's coming from. They'll swim in the trap as you guys see. So what they're gonna do is swim right in, figure out they're in a trap, and then they won't know their way out because the hole is a lot smaller in the inside. Then we pull up the trap and we got our fish and we'll see what it is. If it's something cool, you already know we're gonna take it home. If it's something that we're not allowed to take, obviously we'll release it back into the water and um, call it a day. A bunch of fish. I see, a lane, I see two lane snappers. Looks like a little puffer fish. See all that seaweed? Oh my God, oh my God, the net. Watch this, watch this. All this like sargasm is gonna have like file fish, crabs, shrimp in it, watch. You're talking about that stuff by the pile? Yep. See. And also, if you guys want to see a video where we go out offshore and there is seaweed everywhere, everywhere right now, and what happens, a lot of the bigger pelagic fish will lay their eggs and stuff in it, and all their babies will hang out by the seaweed. So if you guys want to see a video where we go out and net all the seaweed and just see what we can find in it, because uh, there's seahorses in this stuff, there's crabs, shrimp, little fish, it's, there's like triple tail, baby mahi, it's really, really cool. You just shake it out. Usually we'd be on land and we can see what's falling out, but I'm not seeing anything. Right here, little crab, right here. And now look, look at this. I'm gonna show you guys real quick oh how camouflaged he can really get. Tell me you can see that. Does that look like I'm holding a crab next to that seaweed? If you guys wanna see us feed this thing to the mantis shrimp, should we? Should we? Yeah, let's do it. Yep, I think you guys want to see it. So we're gonna throw them in the bucket, and then when we get home, mantis food. Got our little bucket right here. He's chilling. Let's see if we can see anything else in there. Just like I said. Oh, oh! What? A dead trigger fish was in there, dude. Are you serious? Look, like bro. Did... It was in the seaweed. That's a trigger fish, though. Yeah. You can see the little trigger on top. Oh, poor buddy. But yeah, I just pulled this dead trigger fish out of the, all that seaweed. I don't know what could have been the cause of his death, but he must have got tangled up in there when, after he passed away, after he passed away. A little luck with the seaweed. We got a little crab and that's gonna be mantis shrimp food. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's get this thing in the water and see what we can catch. And right here is it. Look at all this seaweed. Look at all the seaweed, the structure and how clear it is, dude. Yeah, I'll be very, very surprised if we don't catch anything. Like there, look at all, look at all the damsels. 
all the damsels and um, what are, sergeant majors. Look at all the sergeant majors. We're definitely catching some of those. Look, we got little grunts swimming around right here. All right, whenever you're ready, put it down. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna kind of lock it in with some rocks so it doesn't move. We should be good to go. Also, if you guys want to see a camera fish trap where we put the camera in the trap and you guys literally watch for yourself how the fish swim in and everything, get this video 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes, all you gotta do is click it and I promise you we'll make that video happen. I got the trap all lodged in and what I'm gonna do, I've never done this before, but I'm gonna take the seaweed and kind of like decorate around the trap so, to make it look as natural as possible. So you guys see this? This is the trap. I got two rocks holding it in place. And now what I'm gonna do is take the seaweed and I'm gonna literally cover the trap, completely cover it. So it's just like a natural little like cave or something, I guess you can say. Boom, you can't even see that thing. I just grabbed the dead trigger fish. It's right there. All right, so the trap is placed. We're gonna give it like we usually do, 30 minutes to an hour. Then we'll come back and see if we have anything in it. All right, so bear with me now, because there is a lot of glass, but we are going to check on the trap. It's been about 45 minutes. Me and Davis just grabbed some breakfast. Absolutely good, shout out to Duncan. I'm actually excited to see what we got, dude. Whoa! It looks like Sergeant Majors. Hold up, yeah, where's the bucket? Two Sergeant Majors or damsels? Hold on, let me get them in this bucket. We got two damsels. I, the reason I had to rush is because one didn't look like he was in too good of shape. And I don't know if that's maybe just because he's been sitting in the trap. He could have gone in there and was and been in there for a while. Like I said, we gave this thing about 45 minutes. And then it looks like we got some snails, which is a first. I've never caught any snails in a fish trap before. And we got these two cool, really cool, cool snails. But I think what I'm going to do with these damsels is release them just because I, they don't look like they're in too good of condition. Very pretty damsels. And we've got and we've caught in these guys before. They're either damsels or um, a type of sergeant majors. Like I said, this was our first time here doing this and we've only been here for about an hour. We already caught two either damsels or sergeant majors. You guys comment down below and let me know. I'm not sure which species those were because I did see some sergeant majors, but I know those are yellow and black. These were white and black. So if you guys know, comment down below. Also, we did catch these little, little snails. And the reason I didn't keep those guys is just I don't have a place to put them right now. It's pretty cool that we can just come out here and catch aquarium fish in our trap. And we got these snails. Look at how, look at the pattern on that thing, dude. And you see them, watch. You'll see them actually on these rocks. If you look really cool, oh, look, right there. There's two of them, bigger ones. One, two. Holy crap, he's on there. See that? Snail went into our trap, dude, that's sick. Like I said, this was just an experiment. Try this out. Now we know there's fish here. We're gonna come back with an even bigger trap. But you guys gotta let me know if you wanna see that happen. So comment down below and say, we want a bigger trap right now and we'll come back with a monster trap. The trap was a success. You gotta remember, this is a small trap, so only a, lim a limited amount of fish can obviously fit into it. But like I said, if you guys wanna see a bigger fish trap at the same location, because there is fish and wildlife all around here. So all you gotta do is comment, bigger fish trap, and we will make that video happen. We'll, get a, we'll make a DIY, like massive fish trap and see what we can catch, because we've never done that before. It's gonna be pretty dope, so let's head home and feed our man fish shrimp. All right, so we are back home and we decided not to feed the mantis shrimp and go to the pool pond just because I haven't updated you guys on this in a while and I do have a video planned in the future for the mantis shrimp and crabs that I want to save for you guys. So we are going to save that crab, probably just throw it in here, feed it to our huma trigger or the lionfish, they'll absolutely love it. But I also want to give a huge update on our hermit crab, our giant red hermit crab. This thing will hand feed, it's, let's just say it's doing absolutely awesome. Climbs all around, sometimes I'll see him up on these rocks. Over there, he just literally, watch, watch it, so hand feed though. Look, look at this claws. Oh, the lionfish, wow. You gotta watch out for those. Very watch, he'll grab this out of my hand. So that is our giant red hermit crab, and I mean, this thing probably weighs close to 10, 15 pounds. Very, very heavy. Watch this. You can kinda see his full body right here. So a little update on the pool pond. But we did do a fish trap and it was absolutely awesome. I love doing fish traps and I know you guys absolutely love them too. So if you guys wanna see more different kinds of fish traps, bigger ones, smaller, whatever, you guys let me know. 
Comment down below what you guys want to see and we will make it happen. But with that being said, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, completely free, and we'll see you in the next one. See you!